Hey everybody, I just wanted to make this quick video regarding Unreal Engine's water plugin and swimming. So you can use the swimming movement mode, but I have played with it and I don't like it. So I just set the player to flying while they're in the water. So open your character. And the best way I found to do this is to just use the buoyancy component. You're going to want to add a pontoon. And refer to your capsule radius in the character, it's 55. It's kind of thick, that's that's really large. <laughs> um, so he's 55 units. That sets up the collision detection for water body collision. And then click on, on entered water delegate and on exited water delegate. So on entered, um, it's pretty straightforward. Get your character movement component, set movement mode. That's going to be flying. Copy paste. And this one is back to walking. I have to mention, this is how the character defaults. So when I, you look down, you're not moving down. You can only move forward and backward. So this is how Epic gives you the movement input. They use get control rotation, but see they omit the other axes. In particular, this Y axis here. So just go ahead and reconnect it. And now you see I can swim in the direction that I'm facing. but there is an unintended effect. This is the effect while you're not in the water. If you look down and hold forward, you're not moving, right? So that's not really desirable because it's trying to move down where you're looking. So you'll have to add some sort of switch. And there's many ways to do that, but this is probably the easiest to implement. Just copy and paste the get control rotation nodes and untick the y axis as it was before. And then we're just going to add a select node to switch between these two. And the buoyancy component has is in water body. So if we're in water, we use the one with the y-axis, and if not, we use the one without. So see, now I'm moving forward and backward at the normal speed. But when I'm in water, I can go up and down. And finally, for jumping, many games allow you to jump out of the water. The default pawn only triggers a jump on started. So if you move that over to triggered, this is the effect. You hold it down and it jumps continuously. Up to you if you don't like that. But the effect on the water is as soon as you come out, you'll be able to jump because you're triggering the jump in the same tick that this is walking. I suppose you could also do something like if you really didn't want to continuously jump when you hold down space, you could call a jump manually In fact, you could plug into this. So the jump input is a true or false input. So if you're holding it, then allow a jump.
and that is achieving the same result. All right, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just wanted to make this quick demonstration. Of course, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm trying to get out videos as much as I can. I'm pretty busy right now. Uh, I appreciate the patience. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.